in this module we'll talk about the differences between a website and a web application now those differences will be based upon the use of a web application and the comparison between a website and a web application will be based upon examples so that you have a good comprehension you have a good understanding a conceptual understanding between the two because uh, in the previous module we have talked in detail about the differences so in this module i will look at the three aspects of the differences which is uh, the interactivity which is the integration and which is the authentication so i will look at the differences based upon these three criteria and give you examples also now what can happen is that when we are looking at the differences between a website and a web application it seems at certain times that there are no differences it seems that as a matter of fact the differences are controversial or it may seem that the differences are not there back they are overlapping the the characteristics of a website are overlapping with the characteristics of a web application why we why we perceive this the reason being that a web application and a website both run in a browser both require an internet access both have a front end and both have a front end which is developed using the same programming language so of course then we can uh, conceive or get an impression that they are same but when we are looking at a web presence of a business then these differences are vital to understand and to comprehend because the development effort for a web application is significantly more as compared to a website so now let's look at the differences interactivity a website for a website a user goes there and looks at the data reads the material maybe reads the news also or uh, uh, looking at the stuff reading it and the contents of the page cannot be changed by the user as a matter of fact they are not required to be changed by the user but for a web application uh, the user can press a button type something in a text box click on a radio button check boxes and the contents are changing the contents are generated i give you one example for example consider the case of a bank so for a bank website i can type something right in a box and get certain results so there that is the interactivity or for example consider the case of a social media websites so i can uh, set the parameters and i can get the news feeds i can get the chat information and other messages so that is the interactivity i'm talking about but the thing is that in today's uh, web environment there are hardly any websites which are non interactive so interactive tvd is there in a website and in a web application but the difference is that in a website the interactivity is not a core requirement but for a web application the interactivity is a core requirement so we see that for a website the interactivity has a less significance is less a less requirement but for a web application the interactivity is more is required is critical so now let's look at the second aspect which is integration integration means that uh, i have a web presence and i need to connect other extra systems with my application say for example i have a website now with my website i can connect the crm system customer relationship management system and i can also connect an erp system enterprise resource planning system i can do the same with a web application also it is more important for a web application the reason being that it has to perform complex tasks so if i connect the crm with my uh, e-commerce system 
then the transactional data the feedback of the users and all of this is going into the CRM system also so that increases the productivity that increases the processing uh, of the orders and reduces the processing time I can connect a CRM system with a website also to deliver more relevant content but that net is not the main requirement for a website then is authentication authentication is that I need to log in give my username give my password and in that way I have access to my personal information now to prevent other people even with malicious intents to accessing my personal information that has to be protected that is the authentication and of course uh, when I give uh, uh, my password or I create my password the system tells me that make it secure make it more robust so that the hackers cannot break in and make my information public so if I have social uh, network or I have email accounts that is my personal information that has to be protected so that is the authentication but if I am reading a newspaper I don't have to be a registered member to read a newspaper I can do this without a membership but if I have to enter comments then I have to register and authenticate myself to prevent spamming so you see there is a certain level of authentication there in a web uh, website also but that is not a requirement that is not mandatory and of course uh, once I have to I have a combination collection of similar uh, applications that is a portal I can have a web store also and remember if I have to make a website for my business I make meaning that this is the type of presence I need I need to access or contact a small web shop and they can make a page for me that is fine but later if I have to run my online business then of course I need a web application developers who are experienced people who have the experience of setting up secure systems and secure applications you see so that is a difference in the development that's all I have to talk about in this module